Hi, I'm Stacy Hewen, and you might recognize me from such commentaries as the 2018 Canadian National Dodgeball Championships, the 2019 Canadian Dodgeball Championships, or the 2020 Ontario Provincial Dodgeball Championships. With Dodgeball on Ice, I had to get myself a day job, and I'm on a sick day today, so I figured I'd bring you some pro sports commentary on some of my old dash cam footage. Let's take a look. Alrighty, we have here a car trying to parallel park. Let's see if they can do it. They're going to start cutting a little bit too early, which means they don't put the back end in far enough. And they're going to really cut it close on this Cavalier here. Oh, looks like they've made contact. So the smart thing to do, of course, is to just push again to see if you really made contact. And then fuck off. That's right, that is a typical Winnipeg response. Don't take responsibility for your actions. Just leave the scene of the crime, which is now a crime instead of an insurance claim. Next up, we are coming down St. Mary Avenue, where you can see that there is only one lane to turn from. That is the leftmost lane. And you want to establish yourself in this lane so that your shot does not get blocked. If you want to keep an eye on the car right in front of us, you'll see that they have lane changed over to the left so that they have the ability to turn. But that van wants to turn as well. But oh no, they're going to be blocked. They're just going to muscle their way right through there in front of a cop car. It's a bold move, but I don't think it paid off. Now, unfortunately, this uh, is a little bit potato quality, as this is from seven years ago. We're coming down in St. Boniface in the middle of the winter. And, oh no, you can't stop on the left side of the road. That's right, this is North America. We drive on the right-hand side. What were they doing? For this next one, we are tapping our brakes to parallel park. And, oh no, that's right, the back of my Jeep has been hit by a Mitsubishi that was going way too fast to stop. So we're going to pull over, and unfortunately you're not going to be able to see it from this angle, but while I'm pulling in to parallel park here, he almost hits me again. My Jeep was written off from this rear impact. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt. Just goes to show that you're never safe anywhere in Winnipeg. All right, it is a winter's day turning onto Skirfield from Waverly Boulevard. The conditions are slippery. But let's see if these players all have what it takes to stay on the road. We're going to be sitting at this red light for a brief moment. Luckily, these lights are timed well based on the route I was taking at the time. And we're going to be making a left-hand turn, which is going to be a little bit tighter from the inside lane than from the outside lane. So you're going to watch your throttle while you're coming through a turn like this, as you don't want to lose traction. Everybody seems to be proceeding with caution. And that's right, we got some brakes, though. Oh, no, that translates into some oversteer. Very, very difficult to achieve, even if you're trying in a front-wheel drive car. But they did manage to just save it and to proceed without too much more difficulty. This next one is a little unusual. Nothing crazy happening in traffic. Just a typical Winnipeg day when you have a car in the back of your giant truck. As you can see here, we've got an original Mini Cooper being carried in the back of a pickup truck. And this is the type of truck that you would normally want to make a small penis comment on, but obviously this person isn't compensating for anything because they're choosing to also drive such a tiny car. Coming up next, we have a corner that everybody's going to recognize. You have two turning lanes on the left, and you have to go straight from the other two. However, this person has decided the rules of the road don't apply to me. I live in Winnipeg. I drive a truck. I can turn left from a lane that has no right to do so. It's another fine day driving through St. Boniface, and you know that you don't have to look when you turn if you drive in Winnipeg. That's right. It's on the other person who has the right of way to swerve to avoid you. As you can see, something flew in front of my dash camera at that point in time as I did have to swerve so severely. Gotta love Winnipeg. Always gives us some great highlights. Coming up next, we have a simple left turn into the Superstore parking lot on St. Anne's Road. Really not that difficult, not a very technical maneuver. It's pretty straightforward. You can see the van ahead of this Corolla is going to execute it flawlessly. Basically, you just pull up and establish yourself in the intersection. Once it is safe to proceed, you do so, or when the light turns red and traffic is clear, you proceed with the left turn. 
So you can see traffic is proceeding at a pretty normal pace. There's an opening and the van proceeds after the car in front of it. Very clean maneuver executed without much fanfare. Now this Corolla is approaching and should have established themselves in the intersection, but instead decided not to and waited. The light turned red and they missed their opportunity. So now we're going to have to sit through an entire light cycle going in the opposite direction, but this isn't too big of a problem. Sometimes you miss a pretty blatant shot, but that's okay. This is an eight mile. You don't just get one opportunity. If you miss your chance, you can always try again. Let's see what happens when the light turns green. We are waiting for the light to turn. They've got their turn signal on. Their intent is clear, but they do still need to establish themselves in the intersection once the light turns. Let's see if this happens. So they haven't established themselves yet. We are creeping forward. Perhaps they are getting the clue based on the person opposite them that they need to establish into the intersection so that they are able to complete the turn. Now, they haven't moved yet. There's no openings in traffic, but they do need to signal their intent. That's right. Establish yourself in the intersection, wait for the light to turn, and then make a left turn once it's safe after it turns red. Now, so far, this person has not moved forward. They are still basically at the stop line. Let's see if they move. Yeah, creeping forward just a little bit, getting the idea. You can do it. Come on, this is like watching Tim Bits hockey here. The goal is right there. All you have to do is just establish yourself in the intersection. Oh, and we've got somebody making a left turn in front of a stop person in the left lane. Could this get any crazier? Will this Corolla take their opportunity? Well, they, oh, nope. And they lose their nerve and they stay there in the intersection. Reverse lights are on. This person has no idea what they're doing. They've got a clear chance to turn, but they're not taking it. Now they're blocking traffic and they're stuck in the intersection. What does one do in this situation? That's right, panic, freeze up, don't do anything. Let traffic proceed as normal. Freak out the person behind you by reversing. Leave your reverse lights on. Okay, they've shifted it back into gear. We are out of danger, but they are not out of this situation yet. The dash camera has cycled through its two minute clips now already twice. We are on to the third clip. Will they make it on this attempt or will they sit here all day? Traffic has now backed up on the middle of a quiet afternoon. There are people behind honking. They know what they have to do, but can they work up the nerve to do it? That's right, we've got well, more creeping up here. As the car behind, I am signaling to them what they need to do. They need to establish themselves in the intersection and actually execute the turn. Now this person seems to be waiting for a turning light that isn't there. There's only three colors of light on here. There is red, amber, and green. You have to act on one of those. These situations, they can get very out of hand very quickly. All you have to do is follow the rules of the road. But the question is, does this person know the rules of the road? Or are they just waiting for Moses to part the sea of cars so they can go through and they make it into the parking lot. And you see that gunning it quite quickly for Corolla as well. You can tell that the driver that timid is going to be panicking. Hopefully they don't get into any collisions in the parking lot, but we're not going to be following them from here on out. We're just going to be getting our groceries. An intersection we should all be familiar with. We saw a truck cutting across from a non-turning lane to make a turn before. But what's going to be out of the ordinary at this one? Only time will tell. The light goes green, and it looks like traffic is lagged a little bit behind, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. Winnipeggers often stay in an intersection during the entire light. And there is an RX-8 facing the wrong direction up on the curb. Now, what's more impressive than any of that is getting an RX-8 to start in winter weather. You know what they say about those things? They just don't. <laughs> they just don't run well. Oh, I love rotary engines, but I would never want to rely on one. All right, it is late at night. We are driving somebody home from the bar, making sure that they stay safe. It's important to get a sober ride home. If you've been out drinking, please call your friends, family, 
anyone you trust really call an uber call a tap car if they're still operating or a cowboy taxi i think was another one also follow the rules of the road you see here we're stopping at a red light trying to make sure everybody is safe but you know who doesn't care if everybody stays safe they're coming up right on the side now you should be seeing them shortly oh and there's one of winnipeg's finest completely ignoring the rules of the road no sirens no emergency no cop, no stop applies to the police officers of Winnipeg as well. It's late at night. We're driving down Marion. And as anybody who grew up driving in Winnipeg knows, if somebody's ahead of you, that is unacceptable. That is a direct confrontation on your manliness. That person is challenging you like staring a wild animal in the eyes. It is important to assert dominance. So get in front of them and then cut in very quickly. That way they know that you're in charge and the better driver. As anybody who has lived in Winnipeg knows, it can be very difficult sometimes to figure out which lane you're supposed to be in when there is snow on the ground. Unfortunately, that excuse does not apply here because it is very clear this person was not attempting to turn into the right lane. That's right. If you're ever wondering why we wanted to get rideshares into Winnipeg so bad, it's the quality of cab drivers that Winnipeg has to offer. Alrighty, this next clip starts off with a red cobalt driving ahead of us. It might be maroon or burgundy, I'm not sure. Those colors are kind of made up as far as I'm concerned. Looks to be driving a little bit aggressively. You can see him weaving around some traffic here, so I feel like that's going to be the person of interest. Let's see what happens as we approach the intersection. We are going northbound on St. Mary's. Approaching Fermoir, looks like that person may have had to weave around a car that was parking. So maybe not going that aggressive, but definitely didn't break their stride. And oh no, that was a red herring. It looks like there's some other drama. A man has gotten out of his car, gone to confront somebody. Oh, he opens the door. What is he saying? I wish I could hear. Oh, to be a fly on the wall there. Yeah, tough guy. Looks, You can see him uh, having some thoughts here, but then he sees the dash camera and decides against it. I just wish that I had been there to be able to see what situation prompted this confrontation. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you check out some of my other videos. I've been doing a season of Formula One 2012 with my family that you might find enjoyable. I plan to do more videos like this in the future. If you have any ideas, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like it and consider subscribing as I put more content on this channel.